Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A beautiful swan I caught um, while we were uh, walking in a in a pond. <clears throat> Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share uh, Luke 11 verses 35 to 36. It says, make sure that the light you think you have is not actually darkness. If you are filled with light, with no dark, dark corners, then your whole life will be radiant, as though a floodlight were filling you with light. Here's my poem. Floodlights filling you. When you declare Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are filled with light, with no dark corners. Your whole life will be radiant like the floodlight. You will shine for all others to see your new life. Ensure that the light you think you have is not darkness. The enemy cunningly deceives you and continually seduces. Stay in God's loving kindness so you'll manifest His goodness. Be filled with His floodlight so you can show His righteousness. Here's my essay. When I was a theater stage manager, I was responsible for all the aspects of production. During rehearsals, I take down all notes of the director for stage movements, lighting, sounds, sets, and props. During the actual performance, I call the shots and the director just watches how I execute what he wants done in the play. When floodlights are on, it is usually in scenes where there is fan fanfare or a climax in the play. When it is on, everyone sees every little detail of the actor's part. Just like floodlights, all Christians need to shine radiantly so darkness can be totally covered with Christ's radiance. Prayer. Lord, help me to shine so all darkness will be covered. Reflection. What do you do to preserve God's radiance in your life? Um... First of all, I get in the Word every day. That's the only way I will be able to be filled with God's light. Without His Word, I will be in total darkness, which I lived almost 50 years of my life in total darkness because I did not really feed on His Word. Another way of uh, preserving God's radiance in our life is by having a, a real relationship with God. It's not just um, going to church, but a real relationship where you talk and you're intimate with the Lord and you follow what He wants and you try to please Him and you, you try to do His will so that you will be able to fulfill all the promises that He has for you. Another way to preserve... Um, <clears throat> Your radiance in your life is to stay pure. Um, you're living in the world, but uh, stay uncorrupted by what the world's standard is. But try as much to please the Lord instead of pleasing the world. And that's one way that you can radiate God's light in your life. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. I invite you to let your floodlights fill you and fill others so that they will know the radiance of Christ. Have a blessed night.